Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I am so excited to film this video for you. This is my update to the Pamela's Eyeshadows project. I always have the creator of this project linked down in the description box. I have definitely changed the project to suit me, but Alexi was the one who started this project. And if you're into this type of panning eyeshadow content, check out the hashtag. There are a lot of people who do this type of video and it's very popular. So if you're into binge watching some eyeshadow panning, definitely check out the hashtag. Um, hashtag. <laughs> I said that so weirdly. Um, today's tea of the day is jasmine tea again. I've been pre-filming a little bit so I'm not sure which video is going up where but I feel like I've been drinking a lot of jasmine tea in my videos. I just can't stop. It's so so good. The one that I have is from Tea Viver, the jasmine dragon pearls. And as I keep telling you they're so fresh, so fragrant but not soapy. Really really wonderful. It's like refreshing and comforting at the same time. So if you guys have been following along with my updates to this project you know that I have been kind of scaling down this project for myself here at the end of the year, um, just because I have a bunch of new projects, products in and I've been wanting to test them. I am still, however, continuing this project. I'm gonna roll it over into the new year. I don't think I'm gonna do a finale. So let's get into the products that I have been working on. So I do have a project uh, palette 30 uses I'm calling it. And I've been doing this because I don't like the idea of having like a single pan in a brand new palette. If I'm gonna pan eyeshadows, I want it to either be in my singles or in palettes that have gotten a significant amount of use. So palettes, I've been rolling them in for 30 uses. This is the one that I have been using lately, the ColourPop Wild Nothing palette. And I have reached my 30 use mark on this one. And I'm really happy to see some of the dips that are starting in some of the shades, especially Coastline over here. This is the shade that I would use all the time in my inner corner. Also in, this, in the shade Seashells. I've been really into wearing green um, in the fall, so that was a fun one to wear. But I also dipped a lot into the mattes. They were very, very good transition shades for when I was reaching for like, for instance, a particular single shadow and I just needed a transition shade, I would always go to this palette. They're not really showing use because ColourPop mattes are very hard pressed and I know it takes me over 50 uses to hit pan on one of them, but just know they have been used quite a bit. Coastline at this point actually does have over 30 uses as well. It's a little more hard pressed than say this formula that Seashells is. But now I know that if whenever I do end up rolling this into a project, it shouldn't take me so long to hit pan on it. The shades Spirited and Salt On, those are actually like super shock formulas and those were handy little toppers to reach for if I was doing a mostly matte look and I just wanted a little sparkle on top. So I really, I felt like used the majority of the palette. I think the only two shades I didn't use was I didn't really reach for this dark brown down here or this shade called Alcove. So I'm really, really happy with the use that I have gotten from this palette and I finally feel comfortable putting it in my Pan Those Eyeshadows spreadsheet. So this is rolling out of the product out of the project for now. I had a good time with this palette. I really do enjoy it. Also, I have a focus palette that I have been working on, and I think I'm gonna kind of do this seasonally. Um, doing this like a focus palette, which by the way, my focus palette has been the master palette by Mario lately. I noticed that after a few months, I get tired of it. I really want to move on to something else, which tells me I'd be really bad at a pan that palette, <laughs> where you work on one palette all year long and try to actually finish it up oh, I feel like I would just be terrible at it considering how I feel after just a few months with one palette. So the shade that I have been working on the most in this palette is this shade over here called Bronx. I put up a picture of how it looked last time. It was almost untouched last time. And now there is a little bit of a dip going in there, you, uh, a very small dip. This shade has surprised me so much. While it is that really beautiful kind of soft formula that Anastasia is known for, it's also very pigmented still. Even though it's an old palette, it has not lost its quality. I feel like one little dip in there, I'll start on my outer corner and start to spread it and it will spread like across my whole lid. Like it is such a pigmented shade. And this shade Bronx as well, when you just look at it in the pan, it looks green, right? But it's actually more khaki-ish, a little bit more murky than it even looks in the pan, especially when applied on my eye. So I've gotten to a point where, in the year anyway, where I don't want to reach for this type of shade so much. This is definitely a fall shade for me. I'm starting to lean more into the winter tones where I want the, the taupes and things. So I can still wear this shade at the moment, but I don't feel myself reaching for it as often. I don't want to force myself to do that. I want to continue to enjoy my shadows. So while this palette can be used obviously all year round. To me, it's a little bit more of a fall palette. I am going to keep it in 
for one more round and then in July, I oh, sorry, not, not July, January, I will roll in a new focus palette that I want to hit a few shades, hit pan on a few shades and then I'll probably roll in a different one for spring. But moving forward into the month of January, I'm going to try and continue to use Bronx a little bit more. I would like to get that dip more significant. However, I'm just going to let it go by what I want to wear. I actually might end up reaching for Claudia, which I've been feeling navy blue lately. I also have a much more significant dip on this shade called Fifth Avenue, so I might just target that one to see if I can get another pan in this palette before I roll in a different palette. Because right now I only have two pans in this palette, this one and this one. I think it would be great to have another one. But again, it's all about just enjoying my palette, so we'll see. We'll see how it looks uh, in the month of January. Okay, since I rolled out my Project 30 Uses palette, time to roll in my next one. So I'm going to be rolling in my ColourPop Making Mobs palette. So this is how it is looking now. It looks unused, even though it isn't. And I did look in my spreadsheet to see how much I have used this palette. I do try to remember to go to my spreadsheet and mark when I've used a certain shade and I don't always do it. So my spreadsheet isn't completely correct, but it gives me a good idea. Some of these shades I have used five times, at least five times. So instead of a 30 use goal, I'm gonna give myself a 25 use goal. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm mostly gonna be reaching for the mattes in this palette. I really, really enjoy the tones of these mattes. This shade, a la mode here in the center while very pretty in the pan and when you swatch it it's really really pretty this kind of purpley fuchsia-ish shade i have found i really do not enjoy on my eye this i keep trying this shade over and over again and i really do not like it on myself this shade over here is another one of those like color pop uh, well they're, they're all color pop i mean the super shock formula it's a little bit dried out at this point but definitely can still use it and i believe this shade is a little bit better than this one, but it's almost still in the realm of where I'm not sure if I like it on myself. The one that I'm wearing today, I really like, but it's right on the edge of that color story where it still looks nice on me and doesn't make me look sick. So I don't know if I'll be using those two shades very often. If I reach for a shimmer, it will definitely be this one called Bicoastal. Let me quick give that one a swatch. It's just, I just feel like it is a lot more flattering on my skin tone. Swatched all next to each other there, they all kind of look similar, but I assure you they look quite different, at least on my eyes. But like I said, I'm gonna quick swatch some of these uh, mattes. They are probably gonna, what I'm gonna be reaching for the most. I love this type of shade. Where can I swatch it? Over here, maybe. Yeah, oh. Perfect, I love these tones. So my goal for this palette, again, will be 25 uses. I have been thinking a great deal about what I'm going to do in January for when I start rolling in randomized shadows again. I have an idea that I'm actually really excited about to make sure that I'm using seasonally appropriate shades. That's the number one thing I worry about with Pandal's Eyeshadows Project where you're randomly rolling in eyeshadows from your whole collection is working on shades that you like but I don't want to work on a shade in January that I would normally wear in July, you know what I mean? So I think I've figured out a way to get around that. I will tell you more about that in my update in January where I start to roll in new shades again. In figuring out my schedule for my panning projects and things, I'm trying to space my projects out a little more throughout the month. Lately, they've all been in like the first two thirds of the month. So I think I'm gonna place my pan those eyeshadows toward the end of the month. Lately, I've been uploading them around the 15th or so. Next month, I'll probably be somewhere between the 25th to the 30th. Just a little update in case you're wondering where my video is next month. I'm really excited to continue in this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I was gonna ask you guys, I know it's very different for each person what each person would consider seasonal for the for eyeshadow. What sort of shades do you guys like to wear this time of year and into the winter? I'm curious. I definitely go all cool tone. <laughs> if I wear warmer shades, bronzy shades, they're kind of like grungier type shades. So anyway, I'm totally interested to know. Please let me know down below. Thank you guys again so much for supporting this project. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Thank you.